Hey, what's up everybody? It's Canacentric Films here, kind of with a different type of video today. I'm doing more of a live first impression of this peach maraschino, which Revolution just released. It comes from Lovin' in Her Eyes as the breeder. Revolution hunted this particular phenotype, and it's a cross of Cherry Punch and Peach Crescendo. Peach Crescendo, I know, comes from Ethos. I will display a little graphic of the genetics because it's kind of a mouthful. Cherry Punch is a cross of Cherry AK-47 and Purple Punch. Let's give this stuff a crack and see how it smells. Okay, it's pretty faint up front, I'll be honest. There's an initial look inside the jar. An ever so slight sweet fruitiness in there, but it's very faint. There's not a whole lot of upfront aroma. A tiny bit of that cherry influence coming through. I reviewed the Cherry Garcia from the Seed and Strain line, um, and it's got a little bit of similarity to that. I think that may come from Ethos as well. Kind of reminds me ever so slightly of Jenny Kush, which Arise puts out in terms of its terpene profile. It's got that slight fruitiness. I could see the argument for peach, but you have to work pretty hard to get any upfront aroma from this stuff. Yeah, overall, my impression is not super, super strong on the initial aroma up front. Stuff looks decent. I'm going to get my camera posted up on a tripod and get some decent footage here for you real quick and give you my breakdown on the looks. So here's what we're looking at. Looks pretty decent to me. Um, it's a tiny bit leafy in nature, not the densest bud, but I prefer bud that's not artificially dense so I don't have any issues with the level of density here. We can see a little bit of purple and orange in here, some darker green sort of army green color. Honestly to me it looks pretty decent. Thinner sort of more conical nugs, again not plump or dense in this case. That is no indication of quality to me though or no indication of lack of quality. Overall, I think it looks pretty solid. I'm gonna pop my macro lens on and get a couple close-up video shots of this stuff. Then we'll break it down, see if the aroma evolves at all, and give it a smoke in my freshly cleaned bong. It doesn't have the most bulbous trichome heads. If you look right here, it looks like there's a little evidence of maybe some herming. So that could definitely affect the overall terpene content in the finished product. Definitely doesn't look too bad though. No signs of oxidation. It's a July 19th harvest date. So it's not the absolute freshest, but it's had a pretty solid amount of time to cure. Seems like they didn't want to rush it out. Oops. Doing this live, so there's gonna be a little bit more uh, bloopers here in terms of me dropping nugs and being clumsy. But I think this stuff looks good. Pardon my hands if they're kind of shaky. It's the type of stuff I usually kind of spend a lot of time editing out, but we're doing a first impression overall here. Yeah, I don't think this stuff looks horrible. Not cover of high times material or anything like that, but there's a nice assortment of colors. The pistols are forming around the bud in a way that I think is visually appealing. And like I said, a little bit of extra leaf content in here. They could have maybe trimmed some of that off. Like this piece here, not a whole lot of trichome content on that leaf. Could have lived without that. I'll be picking that out for sure when I smoke because it doesn't seem like it's going to really do anything other than make the smoke a little harsher and less flavorful. Let's give one more of these nugs a little look. There's, there's some decent frost to this nug here. Can see the trichome heads. Like I said, this just isn't overly dense. A little bit wispier, larfier bud here. We're gonna give one of these a squish test as well. Let's see if this guy has any life left in him. Not super sticky, not the most void of moisture. 
a little bit of like a sweet perfuminess coming through, a little bit floral as you break into it. Yeah, kind of a dry herbal sweetness. I can see a little bit of the cherry influence coming through. Again, it reminds me of that Cherry Garcia, which I reviewed from Seed and Strain. Shameless plug to check out that video if you haven't. It's just a couple more shots of the buds overall. But I think I have, uh, ooh, actually right here, I'm going to zoom in. You can see a nanner, if you know, if you can see where I'm talking about. Kind of like right above my thumb there, there's that little structure that is undeniably a nanner. So this was, without question, a herm batch, product of a stressed out growing environment most likely. Could be genetic as well. They could be just rushing their way through these genetics and um, trying to put something out that you know, maybe meet certain numbers. This stuff is very low testing, so that doesn't seem probable. Could just be they had a deadline to meet, they had to get something out, who knows. But this doesn't seem like the most optimally grown batch because it's lacking some of that terpene profile for sure. Um, there's not an emphatic stink coming from this stuff. It's more of a dry herbal, slightly perfumey, floral and fruity, maybe slightly cherry reminiscent note. None of the purple punch influence coming through in the terpene profile for me. But we are going to grind one of these buds totally up. See if there's any seeds in there with this being a herm batch, definitely. See uh, what the overall consistency of the broken down bud is. See if it emanates any more smell. And then we will get to smoking it. Here's just a little bit more macro footage. Want to make sure I'm thorough on that. Going through this more quickly than I normally would. Don't have a ton of time today, but I wanted to get this review out to anyone who might be curious about this cultivar as it is Revolution's newest release. Hopefully I'm adequately capturing it here. But I can definitely feel the dryness on the external portions of this bud. And like I said, there's definitely some evidence of herming. That one nug I was showing before definitely had a nanner on it. Yep, you can see that there. I think we've seen enough of this bud. Not the most memorable visual wise, but like I said, let's get to smoking it. I'm gonna shut my trap now and start breaking this stuff down. So we've got our handy trailer park boys rolling tray here. I like to break this stuff down by hand, give it a good gauge of the quality and see how it's breaking down. Don't usually do this part on camera. But it's breaking down pretty evenly, pretty easily. Um, in terms of the uniformity, I'm feeling a lot of little stems in there, kind of some harder type structures in the bud that seem like they could be premature seeds or it just could be a, an uneven breakdown, not the most uniform breakdown here. A little bit of stem content that I'm probably gonna wanna pick out here. I'm gonna just go in for a quick smell on the broken down flower. Yeah, so a faint fruitiness reminds me quite a bit of that Cherry Garcia, um, which I also thought might have gone slightly awry in its curing process. So, you know, those cherry AK, uh, those cherry terps could be, could be something that gives off this kind of smell when they're not fully reaching their potential, if that makes sense. Stuff has a little bit of moisture in it. It's not totally dry and, and sand-like. You see there's some hang time here from the broken down buds. Let's see if you can see that. That's what the broken down flower kind of looks like. You can see there's just a few little structures in here that I personally wouldn't want to smoke, like things like this. Those are definitely premature seeds. I'll be picking that out of my smoke. Here's another little one right here. Yeah, not the most uniform breakdown. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not impressed at a 10 out of 10 level with this stuff, but I'm not gonna judge it too much till we give it a proper smoke. So let's pack a bowl up.
Have you guys tried the Peach Crescendo from Revolution? That's one I'm curious about. Was gonna get it the other day, but just didn't have enough time to get to the dispensary it was at. I was in the area um, over by Dispensary 33 in Andersonville, but I was on a tight timeline and just didn't quite have enough time. Here's what this stuff looks like as I kind of pack it up in a bowl. You can see, again, just kind of a, a leafy structure to it post breakdown. It broke down pretty easily, like I said, but I'd like to see a little bit more of like a fluffy breakdown, if that makes sense. This is somewhat leafy and uneven. Curious to see how this is gonna burn. Slightly on the dry side, um, especially externally, like I said, but not the driest bud I've ever worked with, but I've definitely had product from Revolution that was a lot better. And I gotta be honest, I don't know how I feel about these lids overall. I know they uh, are supposed to be like resealable, but I'd rather just have like a, a peel off seal. Um, I saw Medicine Man Mick do a great video on the fact that if you take those seals, which I don't have one in front of me to demonstrate here, but the ones you rip off, you can put it back on the lid and like kind of squeeze it in there and it acts as a seal again. It'll like airtight seal the thing. I would much rather have one of those. I know it creates a tiny bit more waste. Um, but these lids don't quite cut it in terms of the quality, if I'm going to be honest. No, I'm kind of rambling here. Not even high yet. But we're going to give this a smoke. And I'll let you know how it's tasting. Ash is initially a little bit light colored, maybe a little darker than I prefer, but as it was burning, it seemed to be um, moving evenly, kind of a controlled burn. Now you guys just saw, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> there is a little bit of harshness there. <coughs> oh, yeah, definitely a little bit of a lung buster. I've totally cleaned glass and washed the shit out of this bong before I took this hit. Um, it is hitting a little bit harsh. But I am feeling a, a pretty quick heaviness in the eyes initially after hitting this stuff within just a few seconds. I was planning on hitting this and taking a break and letting you know how I feel, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't feeling any effects already. Kind of a heaviness in the eyes uh, is setting in. Feel that kind of initial daze that you sometimes get. Not every cultivar hits instantly like that, but this seems to be one of those that you do feel something almost instantly upon taking a hit. Like I said, I'm feeling it in the eyes, so this could be a good option for someone who has glaucoma and needs like instant relief from pressure in the eyes. I know I'm just making that conclusion off of one hit, so I don't want to make that an absolute statement, but that's just an initial thought up front. So it's been a few seconds since I've taken a hit. I'm curious if it'll combust again if I just draw. So I went out, just light it one more time. So it's ashing pretty lightly, I would say, in this instance. Um, not really any noteworthy flavor that I'm picking up off of this stuff. And like I said, I completely clean out my bomb. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, yeah, let that be evidence. This is a harsher hitting smoke. Um, a little bit of lung irritation upon smoking this stuff. So initially the impression up front is not super great on the smokeability and the terpene content of this bud, there's definitely a high setting in. I can feel affected pretty immediately. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna get a few macro picks of this bud with my camera, and then I will report back with kind of how I'm feeling in a little bit. All right, so real quickly here, I'm gonna show you all some flash video real quick of these nugs, just to see it in an alternative lighting.
Sorry I'm not talking more, this stuff has me pretty fucking stoned. I'll be honest, I'll elaborate on that more a little bit later, but um, for 16% total cannabinoids, it is doing the trick. All right, hey again, everybody. It's been a few hours since I smoked that peach maraschino, and I have to say it really considerably affected me. Um, I took a couple pretty big bong rips. I don't normally smoke on camera. I think I was hitting it harder than I normally do, to be honest, and I got a little bit overwhelmed, honestly. There's a heaviness, a sense of confusion, definitely a uh, little bit of anxiety and racing to set in for me, but it was definitely good uh, stuff if you were keeping yourself busy or working out. There's definitely an energy sense. I'm gonna give it one more hit here. This second nug I broke down had a little bit more of a fruity funkiness going on, um, almost candy reminiscent, sort of gummy worm-esque, peach ring-esque, very subtle, but I definitely detected some of that. Uh, and it had a little bit more aroma post breakdown than the first slightly drier nug. So for whatever that's worth, I wanna see if this burns better, if it hits less harsh, and how it affects me, if there's any flavor, because the first smoke was really unimpressive flavor-wise, I have to say. There's, there's not a ton of flavor there, I'm gonna be honest. Um, smoke's okay though. Let's see if I have to relight it. Don't have to relight it, so that's good. Here's kind of what it's looking like as it's burning. Kind of salt and pepper in this bowl. But overall, Pretty white colored ash for what it's worth. Overall, I'd say don't sleep on this because of the THC numbers. It tested at like 16% total cannabinoids and that doesn't matter. I was very strongly affected. I did not need nearly as much as I smoked. A small hit will take you a long way. I think this is actually pretty potent bud and I'm someone who does smoke pretty much, you know, as much as, as your average medical patient, I think. So I'm pretty happy with this stuff overall from an effect standpoint. Wish the Terps were a little louder, but I did get a little bit of a candy nuance on this other nug post breakdown. Not the uh, most aromatic stuff. And with a July harvest date, it seems like a proper cure should have set in by now with it being October. But that's pretty much my thoughts on this stuff with all that said. So thanks for tuning in everyone. I know this was a different format of video. And if you wanna see the macro pictures I got, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Canacentric Reviews. Stay safe everybody.